Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk about the big PlayStation showcase that is occurring tomorrow, Wednesday 24th, 9pm my time and uh, I think that's 1pm, you know, Pacific time and then 5 hours, I think 6pm Eastern Standard Time if my mathematics is correct and there is a reason I want to talk about this showcase and it is not just to let people know that it's happening, of course you probably already do if you're in the loop uh, but it's just the fact that this showcase is the first showcase from PlayStation in nearly two years. It was September 21. That was the last time we had a showcase. And that's when they showed off like Spider-Man 2, uh, God of War Ragnarok and stuff like that. So ever since then, it's just been stays of plays, which are these kind of smaller little shows where you wouldn't really guess as excited because they could be stinkers. And oftentimes there was a lot of stinkers, a lot of really small kind of indie games that didn't really get anyone hype. So of course, you know, we got to the stage where we were like, you know, expect to be disappointed or keep your expectations in check rather. And then you won't be disappointed if it doesn't meet them expectations. However, this is a showcase, this is not the same thing, this is an hour long, this is something that feels like it's been in the works for a long time and there's going to be a lot of stuff they got to show and in the announcement, Sid Schumann on the PlayStation blog says, you know, front and center, expect a wealth of PS5 and PSVR2 games and this of course is a PSVR channel covering PSVR2 so that's what's really important about this to us, or me, I should say, is the fact that this is the first showcase since the PSVR 2 has launched. And of course, PSVR 2 launched in February. However, it wasn't until just a few weeks ago where you could actually like walk into a shop or store in America and actually pick one up in a GameStop or whatever it is you go to. Before then, it was just you know directly from Sony only, depending on the country you were in, of course. So now it feels like it's properly launched for everyone. And this is Sony's chance to really show it off. You know, if they want people to buy it. Now it's available in the shops. This is where they need to make a stand. This is where PSVR 2 needs to make a stand and show people why we should be buying it. And that is why I'm not saying keep your expectations in check. That is why I'm thinking get hype. I'm hype. I'm completely excited for tomorrow and of course I'm excited anyway because there's rumors of Metal Gear Solid 3 getting a remake and all other kind of crazy stuff. But this is where I think or I, I'm really hoping that we see Sony put the big push in. This is where maybe hybrid games finally come to the front and center. You know Capcom have kind of been carrying that uh, for the last you know six seven years resident evil 7 resident evil 8 now resident evil 4 on the way all these flat games that they're turning hybrid these triple a high production value games that they're bringing to psvr not many other people were doing this and you know while as cool as that was it was you know disheartening to see that sony weren't doing that they were letting capcom do it you know why weren't their studios doing it now is the time for jim ryan to put his money where his mouth is and actually back up this talk of hybrid games you know because he was talking about this in a past interview where he thinks the future of how vr might gain traction is with these hybrid games so we need to start seeing this from sony's own first party we can't be relying on just Capcom to toss us a few Resident Evils every now and again. We need a steady flow of these big titles. It can't be like PSVR 1 where it was kind of like, you know, Resident Evil 7 and then nothing for a long time and then, you know, Borderlands 2, Skyrim maybe, and even though that was an old game, we need more. Of course, there's rumors as well of Twisted Metal, uh, a game coming for PS5. And of course, there's a TV show coming out in July or whatever, so it does line up. It does seem like it will happen and probably will be announced tomorrow, but that seems like the ideal game as well to have PSVR 2 support. I'm not saying that every single first party title needs to have PSVR 2 support, but where it makes sense and where it can be done, I think it should be done, you know? If Capcom can take Resident Evil 4, which is a third person over the shoulder shooter and bring that into a first person, you know, virtual reality game, then I think you know, the Sony studios should be able to do this, especially, you know, it's their hardware. They need to be doing this more than anyone. Of course, I want to see more third party deals as well. I want to see crazy stuff. GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2. I want all that stuff to get, you know, PS viewer support. That would blow my mind. That would be nuts, crazy, whatever. But again, Sony have to do the talking, you know, and the walking, not just the talking. And that's why I'm making this video. That's why I think tomorrow's showcase is going to be so important because, you know, don't get me wrong. I think, you know, a lot of people 
would have you believe otherwise, but 2023 for PSVR 2 has been good. The launch year has been good. It was a very solid launch title, and we still have Firewall Ultra to come. Hopefully we get a release date for that tomorrow too. Firewall Ultra on the horizon, and we also have Resident Evil 4, of course, to look forward to. We don't know if it's coming 2023, but it likely is, you know, depending on how long it takes to develop. I can't imagine it would take until next year, but we'll wait and see. But the problem with the PSVR 2 lineup is the roadmap for the future. What happens after 2023? And this is where Sony needs to answer those questions tomorrow. I think they will. I think they have to. And that is why I think it's fairly safe to get hyped for tomorrow. You know, I'm not going to tell anyone to lower their expectations. I'm going to stream it myself tomorrow on this channel. I might stream it maybe an hour before it begins for the sole purpose of, you know, generating hype, you know, speculating with you viewers, anyone who's watching what they want to see, what they think could be there, because that's all part of the fun. And I think we won't be disappointed. I hope we won't be disappointed. Maybe I'll be making a video on Thursday about, you know, where I'm just crying in front of the camera. Uh, but I don't think that will happen. At least I hope it doesn't happen. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out in the link. Feel free to join me for the event tomorrow as well. I will start streaming an hour beforehand, as I said. And with that, I will end the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow, I should say. Please stay moist.